Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for stopping by. Today I wanted to cover just one of two LiPo battery checkers that I bought and I think you might want to get for yourself if you're thinking about flying FPV drones. It's called the Apex LiPo Battery Voltage Checker and Alarm. It's got an alarm built into it, which is used to quickly check your LiPo batteries. It's something you're definitely one going to have. It's real straightforward. The one that I bought, it actually came in a two pack. It contains actually two of these voltage checkers. And I'm going to leave a link below if you want to check these out for yourself. It's both a voltage checker and a low voltage alarm uh, all in one. So it does two things. It works on 1S to 8S LiPo batteries with a JST-XH balance lead. So on your LiPo batteries, you have your uh, power cable and then a balance lead. So it's going to connect with these balance leads here. The alarms itself are very loud, so I'm probably not going to put them in the video, but trust me, they're plenty loud. It also reads individual cell voltage as well as the total pack of voltage. The voltage the alarm will sound at is adjustable between individual cell voltages of 2.7 volt and 3.8 volt in 0.1 volt increments and the 3.30 volt is the default value set. But again, you can change it uh, simply by, there's a button on the back here that you can uh, click to adjust that value. So if you're flying your FPV and want to know when to bring it in, it can be used as an FPV battery alarm as well as a bench voltage checker. I guess you would use the alarm feature if you didn't have the voltage displayed already in your FPV goggles. Since I plan on having this voltage displayed on my DJI FPV goggles, I probably won't use the alarm feature on this checker, but it's also an option if you want to use it in that way. It's a very handy tool to help prevent the over discharging of your LiPo batteries. As you know, if you're flying FPV and using a 4S battery, like I'll be doing, you don't want your 4S LiPo to go below 12 volt, and it should be brought in around 14.5 volt or 3.5 volt per cell. Over discharging of your LiPo batteries can cause permanent damage to your LiPos, so monitoring your voltage is extremely important. If you flip the tester over, you can see on the back, which is in very small font, and it's actually really hard to read. So if you have reading glasses or need reading glasses like I do, you're gonna need them to read this font. So from the bottom, the pins are marked starting with a negative, then 1S pin, 2S pin, 3S pin, etc., moving up to the 8S pin, and on the very top is the positive pin. You actually have nine pins total on this particular tester. It's hard to read, but on the back, it reads LiPo battery voltage tester, low voltage buzzer alarm, and the next line starting at the top and working my way down uh, the first line there is used for 1.8S LiPos, lithium ion, lithium ion manganese, and lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are all the battery types that you can use with this tester. The next line, voltage detection provision is plus 0.01 volt, meaning the reading can be from 0.01 volt above or 0.01 volt below the actual value displayed on the LCD. Next line, unit voltage displayed range, 0.5 volt to 4.5 volt. So that's, so that's your display range per cell, and it can't display anything above or below those values. Next line, 1S test mode voltage range, 3.7 to 30 volt. Next line, low voltage alarm mode for 2 to 8S. Next line, alarm set value range, you have off and you have 2.7 volt to 3.8 volt. This is the range in which you can trigger the alarm feature. And then finally it reads, when the voltage is below the set value, it will buzzer with a red LED light preset value of 3.30 volt, push key which can change the voltage settings and save. That's all the technical information, but it's actually really simple to use, so let me show you that as well. Just connect the balance lead of your LiPo battery to the leftmost pin of the tester. Just be sure to connect the negative or the black wire of your balance lead cable to the leftmost uh, pin on the tester. You can also double check this by flipping over the tester and you can see the first pin is marked with a negative sign. Again, every pin is marked for identification. So as the LCD is showing, you'll see the total voltage of the battery pack. Then it will scroll, th scroll through the individual cells of the battery. The LCD will identify the cell 
one, two, three, or four, and then its corresponding voltage for that specific cell. If you want to set the alarm, just press the little black button on the top of the tester. Again, the buzzer range needs to be between 2.7 volt and 3.8 volt. Once one of the cells gets below that set threshold, the alarm will sound. You just press the button on the top to shut it off. My cells aren't below the threshold of 3.8 volt, so it's not going to go off. And that's really it for now. Just a quick status update. Uh, also on the status of my FPV that I ordered. Uh, I've ordered one from Rotor Riot. And as of this video posting, I should have my first FPV. Uh, again, it's a Rotor Riot HD1 pre-built uh, in my hands sometime around Christmas time. So if the weather cooperates, I should have some FPV footage in the very near future. I also ordered a ton of extra props just in case. Yes, I suspect there will be a few crashes involved and I think I'm well prepared at this point. Oh, and nothing new on the Skydio 2 front. I'm still waiting to get my confirmation e email from Skydio that my order is ready to ship. I know some of you've gotten your batch one Skydios, but I'm still waiting. And I'll be sure to get some footage up once I receive mine as well. I hope you found this information to be helpful, and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It really does help support the channel. And before I go, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future video notification. Uh, and that's it. So until next time, take care and happy flying. Okay, alright.